Hey everyone, do you like strawberries as much as I do? Every summer you could smell strawberries in the air. In fact, even now, when I smell that smell, it brings back a bunch of childhood memories. There's nothing better than picking a fresh strawberry warmed by the sun and eating it right there in the moment. The problem is I've grown strawberries for two years and I've yet to harvest more than 10 berries off of my plants. Not because the plants aren't producing, but because the bugs get to them faster than I can. This year though, I'm gonna win. What makes this year different? The way I'm planting them. In the fields around here, strawberries are planted under plastic on knee-high mounded rows. Plus, they're sprayed a lot. Strawberries are consistently at the top of the list of crops with pesticide residue. In fact, a single strawberry sample can be covered with 20 different pesticides. I grow my own food to steer clear of that, so I definitely don't want to be using pesticides to get rid of the bugs that are eating my berries. The first year I planted them in the ground with straw underneath to keep them out of contact with the soil. The straw did that, but it also served as home for hundreds of sow bugs that devoured every single berry the second it was ripe. The next year, I thought I would outsmart them and I would plant them in pots. Didn't help at all. Bugs showed up anyway. Still no strawberries. Then I happened to be watching an episode of Callie Kim. She's another YouTube gardener. She's really great, you need to check her out. And she was growing her strawberries in milk crate towers. And it sounded like an excellent idea. Get the strawberries up off the ground, away from the bugs, Plus, you can plant a lot more strawberries in a smaller space, and I'm all about that. So I'm gonna put my own spin on it because I love experimenting in the garden. And I have this um, laundry basket. And they're about, they're less than $10 new. I'm also gonna be adding a watering system, just a reservoir that goes down the center of the basket which is gonna keep the roots moist at all times. And you definitely wanna keep those berries moist to get big, juicy fruit. The materials I need for this project are, of course, the laundry basket, some weed cloth, scissors, at least a three inch diameter PVC pipe with a cap cemented on one end, a good well-draining potting soil, tape, gravel, and of course, strawberry plants. I already know that a great variety of strawberry for our area is Sequoia. You can always Google the best variety for your particular area. Now I have some plants that I got mail ordered um, this year, and I've had them in the refrigerator for a couple of weeks. And I actually took the uh, strawberry plants out of the pots that I already had and dug them up, take, took the dirt off so they're bare root, and I put them in the refrigerator for two weeks. It's gonna mimic a cold winter, which gets them off to a great start. So let's get started. There's only one person I know of that loves strawberries as much as I do, and that's my son, Noah. Come on up. Hi. Noah's gonna be helping me out today, and I think it's so important to have our kids get involved with growing food. It's important they know where their food comes from. And this is a great project that kids will love to help with. The first thing I did in advance was paint the white basket totally for aesthetic purposes, so it's, it's optional. And you also wanna drill some holes in the bottom for drainage. Then what you wanna do is take some weed cloth, wrap it around the outside of the, uh, the basket, and cut it to shape. Once you've got it cut to shape, you want to fit it down inside of the basket. This is going to keep the soil from running out of the holes. Now Noah's going to put about two inches of gravel into the bottom of the basket. Go ahead. Perfect. So, I have cut the PVC pipe to the height of the basket minus a couple inches for the gravel on the bottom. And I have a cap cemented on. Then I drilled a bunch of holes. Actually, I used a, uh, a grinder wheel 
to make slits, but you can also use a, a drill. And that's gonna allow for the water to seep out of the pipe into the potting soil. So what we're gonna do now, Noah, is we're gonna wrap some more weed cloth around the pot, around the pipe to keep the roots and the dirt out of the, uh, the pipe here. You wanna do that? Yeah. And I found that a little tape will help hold it on while we fill up the pot or the basket. And then the soil will actually hold up the pipe or, or hold on the uh, weed cloth once it's all put together. Put some tape on. Another great reason for the watering tube is you can actually add fish fertilizer and seaweed fertilizer right into the tube and it'll make its way all the way through the entire basket, all the way down to the bottom. All right, Noah, so I'm gonna hold the pipe level and where's that bucket the gravel was in? Here. Yeah, go ahead and uh, scoop out the soil in that bucket. Gonna get down and dirty. We're gonna fill the basket all the way up about two inches from the top. Now it's time to plant. I'm gonna plant uh, the strawberries all around the edges of the basket, maybe skipping a couple holes here and there. And that's gonna leave some holes available to root some of the runners that it sends out during this next uh, growing season. All right, so what you wanna do is take some scissors and cut a slit in the hole. And Noah's gonna take a strawberry plant and you're gonna push the roots all the way in this. There you go. Keep pushing it just like that. Just tuck it in. And what you want to do is you don't want to push it in too deep. You want to push it right into the crown, which is where the roots meet the leaves. If you put it in too deep, it's going to rot. And if you put it in too shallow, it's going to uh, dry out. You want to cut the next one? Yeah. Okay, go ahead and do it right here. Shove it in and then squeeze. Nope. Open, shove it, and squeeze. There you go. All right, so we're just gonna do that around the, around the basket, and then we'll come back and we'll show you how it was done. Planting in February, depending on conditions, should get us berries by late spring. During that time, the plants are gonna put out runners. To improve the fruit size, you wanna cut off the runners as soon as they appear. That's gonna be the rule until July. In July, you're going to switch and allow the plants to form all the runners they can for the rest of the year. Now these runners are gonna come off of here and you can make new holes and pin them with hairpins into these holes and they will root right there. And I think by the end of the season, we should have all of these holes just about full. To finish off this basket, we're gonna plant some alyssum up at, up at the top. Bees love alyssum and we need to attract bees to pollinate the strawberry flowers. It takes 20 bee visits to each flower to get a properly developed berry. So the more bees, the better. So let's put them here. I'm gonna plant one right there in that hole. Here you go. Okay, just firm the soil around it. There you go. Right here. Job. I'll keep you updated on the progress and if in fact keeping these in this basket gets me some berries this year. If you decide to give this a try, let me know how it works for you. As always, if you learned something new, give us a thumbs up and consider hitting subscribe 
for more garden how-to videos. See you next time.